So in this video, I'll be showing you how to illustrate a fire using a Wacom Intuos Pro Medium tablet in Adobe Illustrator for a gig poster. This video was sped up to about three times normal speed, so don't feel like you need to keep up. Now, just use those brushes we set up earlier to draw an outline. I've set one of my side express keys on the Wacom tablet to undo, so I can just hit that to undo any strokes that I'm not happy with. The Intuos tablet has multi-touch capabilities, so here I'm just going to zoom in using two fingers and pan the canvas around. The tablet has palm rejection, so it won't pick up touch input like from your palm when you're using the pen to draw. I've also set a button on the side of my pen to link to the hand tool in Illustrator, so I can just hold that button and drag the pen across the tablet surface to move the canvas around. Setting up shortcuts and settings on the Wacom tablet that you're comfortable with is a huge part of integrating it into your workflow and discovering just how much it can improve the speed at which you work. So just start to fill in the fire now. Because we're going to draw that filling using a pressure sensitive brush, it'll be nice and rough and look really hand drawn. You can flip your pen over to erase any mistakes you make. It's got an eraser on the end, so it's, it's just like using a normal pencil. The pressure sensitivity will give us a lot of control over how rough that filling feels. So I'll just zoom out now and swap to a smaller brush and a lighter color and add in the next level of flame. Just like before, we're gonna start with a rough outline of the inner flame. It can be even rougher this time because we don't need to define the edges of the whole fire. So now I'm going to fill in that flame using a larger brush, keeping it rough and loose as we did before and just adding a few small details, taking advantage of those pressure sensitive brushes to really give us control over the weight of each stroke and the amount of detail in the illustration. Use the touch inputs to zoom in a bit closer so I can continue to add in little bits of detail. Now I'm going to swap out to the darker red so that we can get a bit more definition on the inner flame and add some more roughness and, and texture. You can use the, the touch to zoom in and draw a few little spots to give the flame a lot of life, just like this. And then I'm going to zoom back out and swap out to a yellow so that we can do the next level of flame. So just like before, we're gonna draw it out roughly. Don't worry too much about getting it too perfect. We want that natural traditional feeling with loose distressed brush strokes. I find that having one of the buttons on the side of my pen set to the hand tool, as I mentioned before, and that touch sensitivity on the tablet is a huge improvement to the speed at which I can draw. You don't need to swap back to a mouse or the keyboard. All your focus can be, used, can be on the illustration you're drawing and using the tablet as an enabling tool for you to draw with. I'm just adding a bit more detail around the edge, a few embers floating up to the sky. So here I'm using a bit of blue because fires have a blue burning hot section in the base and it will just add a little bit of contrast to all of that warm color. Adding a little bit of light, light yellow uh, for a bit of detail. And once again, just finessing out those little bits of detail. You can even use the touch input as a giant trackpad. Um, so you don't really need to swap back to a mouse. Just a few final details here. Using the blob brush tool throughout a few spots and there we have it. Our fire is good to go.